In this video, we will be discussing simplifying rational expression. To simplify rational expression is just simplifying ordinary fraction. Let's say we have 15 over 35. So we can use cancellation method. So all we need to do, find the factors of 15, that is 5 times 3 over factors of 35, that is 5 times 7, will give us 3 over 7. So we just need to cancel 5 and 5, because 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. So our final is 3 over 17. So let's say we have 15 AB all over 21 B. Obviously, we can cancel the D by loss of exponent. So we now have factors of 15 are 3 times 5. So let us copy A. Over factors of 21 is 3 times 7. 7, 14, 21. And just copy C. Now, 3 over 3. This will be equal to 1, right? 5 over 7 cannot be simplified. So our final answer is 5a over 7c. Okay. This will be our final answer. Uh, let's try for example. Clarice. So let's say 6 over 2x all over x minus 3. Let us factor our numerator. By the greatest common factor, we have 2 times 6 divided by 2, that is 3, copy the sign, minus 2 divided by 2. That will give us x only. Next, x minus 3. Do we have expression that we can cancel out? 3 minus x over x minus 3 are the same. Okay? So if we're going to multiply negative 1, that will become positive 2 times. If we have multiply negative 1 outside the new outside our numerator, 3x minus 3 minus x, this will become x minus 3 now. We're just going to change the sign. Okay, let's check. Negative 1 times x will give us negative x. Negative 1 times negative 3, that is positive 3. So they are just the same. All over, our denominator just copy x minus 3. Now, uh, can we cancel now x minus 3? Yes, so cancel x minus 3. 2 times negative 1, so the simplest form is negative 2. Get it? Okay, number 4. Let's try x cubed minus 8 all over x squared minus 4. So factor the numerator and the denominator. Our numerator, difference of two cubes. So cube root of the first term, that is x, copy the sign, minus cube root of 8, which is 2. And focus in our binomial, square the first term, that is x squared, multiply the first and the second, x times negative 2, negative 2x times negative, positive 2x. Okay. 
And now, square the second term, positive 4. All over. All over difference of two squares. That is x plus 2 and x minus 2. Now, what expression can we cancel out? So we have x minus 2, x minus 2. And our final answer is x squared plus 2x plus 4 all over x plus 2. So that is our final answer. Again, master all the factoring techniques that is in our previous videos. If you haven't mastered it yet, then you can uh, watch it again and have a short review. Next. Next number. Number five example. Okay. Our fifth example. Uh, this is a little bit hard. X raised to two a. Raised to two a. So our exponent is two a plus four x raised to a plus four all over x raised to 2a plus 5x raised to a plus 6. Okay. Our, look at our exponent. But this is just the same. If we remove a, don't be afraid in that given, that is equivalent to x squared plus 4x plus 4 all over x squared plus 5x plus 6. Okay, they are similar. They just put a on the exponent. So since there is a, we can factor this as psd, so x plus 2 and x plus 2. How about our denominator? This is x plus factors of 6, 3, and x plus 2. But since in our original given, we have a in the exponent, so I just write a in our exponent for x. Okay, a and a. Okay, that's it. So we can erase this. Okay, so we just have a in our exponent. Now, cancel similar terms, so we have this one, so our final answer is a, x raised to a plus 2 all over x raised to a plus 2. That's it. So, as easy as that. And last example. Uh, if it is, if my explanation is too fast, then you can pause and play. X raised to 3a minus 27 over x raised to 2a plus 3 x raised to a plus 9. Okay. Again, we have a in our exponent, but this is just the same as x cubed minus 27. So, difference of two cubes. Again, cube root. So, we have x raised to a minus the sign cube root of 27 is 3. So, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Now, focus on the second term. On our binomial, square the first term, that will become 2a because we need to square. Multiply the first and the second times negative, so that will become positive 3xa. Then uh, square the second, positive 9. All over 
factors of 9 is the sum is 3. Okay. Let me check the figure. Okay. Can we factor out? Yes or no? No, there is no factor. So just copy our denominator x 2a plus 3x raised to a plus 9. And now take a look at our factored form and denominator. Do we have the same expression? Okay, this one is the same as our denominator. So we can cancel them out. Now we have x raised to a minus 3. This will be our final answer. So that is on how to simplify rational expression. Again, master all our factoring techniques so you can easily solve the given rational expression. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and please don't forget to subscribe. Please share our videos to your classmates, to your friends, and other school so that they will enjoy mathematics as what you do now. Thank you.